Hello everybody, my name is Grimscythe and welcome back to Stonehearth. Alright, we are continuing to build up our basic houses, or just basic living arrangements. And right now we got beds for 8, 9, 10 people, which we have 10 people I believe. So that should be working out okay. We're going to have to start going out a little bit farther for trees as well right now. Now realizing this. Hey, we're getting our first crop of corn in. Look at that. That's good stuff. Okay, so this is going to be flipped around. There. We have enough of these yet? Are we done? I think they got to build some more still. I never did put any um, stone box over here. One of these days they'll all have their own little workshops though, and that'll be the that'll be the goal. It's like we're about halfway done with this wall over here, and then that garden will be done. We can move on to uh, garden number two. Talking about talking about your mining days. It's like, man, I'm a good miner. Oh yeah, I really mined it up. <laughs> nice. And our little roads done over here. Working out. One of these days I may get picky enough and then just moving this over so we can fit so it fits right. I'd have to move like almost every single crop though. That would be a, that would be frustrating. But it is so annoying that it's off. Um, I never did really look at uh, what this other person was gonna be good at. I guess they're not really good at anything. But figure out what I can have them do. I need to have... I need a blacksmith. It would be nice if I had somebody that was kind of going to be good at that, but I guess I'm not going to really get that. What are you good at? You're... Eat anything. That doesn't really help me. Again, these, these traits don't really have anything to give, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> for that. But I do need to start getting a blacksmith because I want to start making some better gear. Now that we're getting minerals, um, I need to look at what we need to do to be able to get a blacksmith. We need to get that hammer. Well, we can, actually, because we have a mason level 3 now. And we have the tools. I'm going to go ahead and make that tool. And I'd probably just make that other guy the blacksmith for now. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily have traits that match up. It would be nice, but it doesn't have to. I'm hesitant to like run a, f a road down behind this house because I don't think this is going to be a long-term thing. Like I said, it's mostly just for short-term living arrangements while we get these other houses built. <clears throat> we have some more iron to do our other door. I think we do somewhere here. Maybe not. That's all ten silver, hunk of stone. Some of these don't look... they're not super easy to tell which ones are which. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find some more. Speaking of, I was going to slice down in there actually and see about uh, digging out whoop, digging out some more of this area. Go ahead and just go go another set. Actually, let's just go big. There we go. Take that off. Who is snoring over there? Something, is there like a Oh! Hey! That's that's not good. He could end up being trouble if I don't take care of him. He's a hearth tender. It means he's trying to build up a stockpile. I'm going to take him out. I don't want that even being a problem. So it's just him right now. There's nothing he can even really do. Just go wreck his face. What a little bunnies. Go get them, guys! And we got three. Got two big ass mallets. Get them! Look at them run. We need to designate that guy to be attacked. Let's see, attack this chump. Get him! Cannot run her. Look how fast she is. She zoom zoom. <laughs> you better run. 
Gonna run right off the edge of the map, aren't you? Now you can only run so far. We'll get you. She's so fast. Blah. Gotcha. Mine. My territory. You know touchy. Can we um, destroy this stuff? Yeah, right, she's destroying it. Some free wood over there. What we got for daily update? Need another person. Let's do it. Tristan Carvad. What you good at, Tristan? Tristan Carvad is a gardener, green thumber. Good. We're gonna need another. We're gonna need another farmer. I'm actually very happy about that. You know what? That's what we do. It's about to start working on our second farm area. So you know that works for me. Let's make another farmer's hoe. We need to start chopping down some trees pronto because we are hurting on wood here. Uh, let's start just mowing down these this big forest over here. You guys work on that for me. Bring in some wood. I might end up like reconverting this building into like a mess hall down the road. Just once we get all these other houses put in place. Still working on this third house. I can't believe our wealth has actually gone up pretty rapidly, um, <clears throat> more than I'm used to, probably because I'm building houses a lot more often than I have in the past, which is getting our wealth up there. He's like bragging about destroying that hearth. hearth. It's like, oh yeah, I wrecked it. Oh, what am I hearing? Oh, we got wolves. Oh man, wolves and a Varanus. Ooh, that could be trouble. He's coming at me. The wolves might not necessarily be coming at me yet. I think they were going to go to the hearth. We got them taken care of. Okay, so we got to definitely take care of this dude, though. This guy's going to be a little tougher, I think. Go ahead and attack and move towards this punk. Please do not mess with my other little civilians. My hearthlings. Leave them out of this. Between me and you, chumpo. Where's my third one? There he comes. This guy's gonna hurt a little bit, but fortunately I got my extra footmen. You start dealing with this this situation. This guy will actually uh, should drop a uh, hide for me. She's pretty tough. Taking it like a champ. Good job. Very well done. Do you have the breastplate on? Looks like she might actually have that breastplate on now. She's a level two. I bet you she does. Let's see. Level 2 Footman, um, who was it? it? was Autumn, right? Yeah. Let's see, let's look at your character sheet. Equipment? Yeah, you do. Look at that, plus 5 defense. Very nice. That trade from long ago has now paid off. We have this uh, Varana skin now that we can use for uh, assorted things. Alright, let's go ahead and collect this too as loot now. We're going to collect it as this way. There we go. Collect that. I have to tell you to collect it. Loot it. Okay. And uh, we're good. What was that update? Trader. What do you got? Just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. Uh, if you make me seven table for one, I'll be back in three days and might be able to get you three large crates. Sound good? Sounds boring. But you know what? Maybe trade is good for my economy. I don't know. I'll go ahead and do it. Seven table for one. I mean, it's not like that's hard to make. Once I start chopping down some of these trees, that'll be a breeze. I'll go ahead and queue them up now so I don't forget. Table for one. Right. No, that's not it. There it is. Seven of those. Blammo. Royal Herald. Oh there. Is this the new settlement of Grimm's Forest Getaway? Messiah Burleyhands said you'd be out here, but it's always a bit touch and go in the early days. Shall we get started with the proclamation? Welcome, me lady. By order of Princess Dania, First Lady of Ascendancy, and in whose demences you settle, and with the blessing of the Church of Plenty, in whose wisdom we all pros. Wow, a proclamation. Zzz. All settlements that attain local renown will be hereby recognized as official ascendancy townships with the rights, privileges, and rewards thereof. Huh? What does that actually mean? Well, mostly that we write you down in a ledger somewhere in case we ever remember to come back and collect taxes. Taxes? Seriously? I'm just joking. The royal accountants have their hands full right now with the cor coronation and everything. 
Anyway, township status really means that you get a host of rewards and benefits. Rewards and benefits? Indeed. By the princess's order, eligible towns that have proven their worth shall win access to architectural, learning, and wealthier caravans for trade. Okay, what comes next? You may gain sufficient renown to advance to a township in any of three ways. Military glory, favor with the church, or the approval of the craftsmasters, which sounds most interesting to you. Um, I think craftsmasters. The royal craftsmasters honor those with an eye for excellence. Have your mason create a statue to their exacting specifications, and you shall be one of the few to impress them. Um... <clears throat> How else can I gain renown? You may gain sufficient renown to advance to a township in any of three ways. All right, so that's just, okay, oh, that's, Mason's Ho, go. Excellent, in addition to an appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. I shall leave you the requirements with you, should you just wish to consult with them again, or should a different path come to appeal more to your initial chosen road? Thank you, milady. Sid's bounty be upon you, Grim's force get away. I shall leave you a bird, so you may summon me to evaluate your progress. Farewell. Farewell. Farmer level three. Hooray! Mason recipe unlocked. The valor of Sid. So that's what uh, that's what we need to do in order to advance uh, later on. Uh, how are we doing on those walls? I think there we go. Get those put down, see if we can finish this off, mayhaps. And right there. Hooray! Last piece, got the exact number that I wanted. Okay, we got some of the stuff we need for the third house. It looks like the third house may even be done. We're gonna go through all of these, okay. Quest for Township. So we need to attain, so for Craster's approval, we need to build a place the Guildmaster's skill, build and place the Guildmaster's skill, attain a net worth of 5,000. Okay, well, I'll have to look at that in the future. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I'm just trying to get the basic amenities set up for my town. All right, let's turn this around, put that in there. Get our dresser right there, table for one. And our cathedral chair. There we go. Basic house set up for that person. Who's going to be... Do we have this placed yet? It's not even there yet. Okay, so soon. Soon it will be. And we should start putting down that fourth house, I think. Maybe we'll switch up the houses after this fourth one. Let's build this. There's that. Put this door has got to face that way. Go, can't see. Four squares there. Yeah, right there. And let's change the walls again. Uh, to something a little darker. Go oh, beast ray. Beast ray all around. And I'm thinking I'm going to do the roof on this one different too. Let's do the roof as a, another yellow one. All right, that'll do. Build it. Yes, build. Done. All right, we'll have the <clears throat> about a third of the neighborhood at that point. Look at all that wood now. The grand. I need to queue up some more uh, more furniture as well. Go down here. So we need to get another mean bed, a cathedral chair, dresser, and table for one. Standard stuff. I could just add those to the blueprint of the house, which would probably make things a little easier, but then I'd have to like have it be a specific spot every time for all the stuff we put in there, which isn't ideal. 
I like to be able to pick where that stuff goes. All right, who's going to live here? Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm going to start putting the soldiers in. Let's put Autumn in this one. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we need to start getting some lamps on these, too. I forgot about the lamps. Got to light up this place. Dark time. Kind of glum. Gloomy. Um, let's build some more, yeah, wall, wooden wall-mounted lamps. Let's do a few more of those. Oh, and I forgot to make my other guy uh, a farmer. Is it Tristan? Yes. Tristan, you will be a farmer. Boop. And eventually we'll have a cook here. Which, I think, I think we might have the skill to be a cook. You're level four. Yeah, we definitely have the skill. It's a matter of uh, can we make the tool yet? We might be able to. Cause that would be a good boon to start working on. Uh, maybe it's under. It must be under stone. Let's go under stone. Yeah, the cook spoon. Yes, we can. Great. So I think what we're gonna need to do now is start setting up a cook's house. That would be nice. Maybe we can, um, maybe we could do it like here. Maybe run a road down here. Have a cook's house, and then we need to have like a, a dining area somewhere. I just realized I have this here. I wonder if I can fix this so that we can do uh, <clears throat> different color brick here. Well, let me overwrite it. Let me just do ash down this. Or is it going to place on top? Looks like it's going to go on top. Um, so how do I get rid of... Clear items out of world. I just get rid of these two? No. Pledgems. How do I get rid of them? I don't know. I just set that wood there, buddy. What's that about? I might have to. I don't know. I don't know how I fix this. I guess I'm just going to deal with it for now. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and put down. A road on this side. The Chocolato. Go down this way. Your ash down here. Chocolato right here. Just for now. That should be fine. But I don't think it's going to let me. That's like placing on top of, which is not what I want. I can't get rid of that without getting rid of the whole thing because it was built together. Kind of annoying. That's fine. Oops, uh, that was not what I meant to do. All right, let's finish that editing. Build it. So after this fourth house goes in, I'm going to start designing the cookhouse. So that's going to be not only a new house, but it's going to be a place where the cook can do his, his work uh, to start making the food for the people. I think we'll have the door facing on this side. Maybe we'll have two doors, like one in here and here. And we can bring the food in here. And the food will be stored in here so it can be cooked. And then the, the prepper, prepper, prepared foods will be then hustled over to another building. Maybe I'll do door here and then door over. I don't want it to make it one building, though. So I don't know. I'll see how, how it plays out here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can mine. Can we, like, mine? No, I can't. I don't know how to get rid of just, like, one tile when you have it like that. <clears throat> kind of got to commit once you put those things down there. <laughs> so, we're going to be doing a building here. So, let's look at a foundation. 
do clinker clinker foundation i'm going to set this one back a little bit because i want it to have more room 10 deep should be fine let's go 15 wide and 10 deep might be enough to cook and yeah i think that would be sufficient yeah actually i just thought of something actually let's add let's add two more for the width of the walls yeah that's probably too big but whatever big is not bad and the reason i want two back because i want to be able to hang decorative banners on there that identify this as being the cook's house and stuff like that uh so <clears throat> i think we're gonna have the door I'll, I'll figure out the ground patterns over here later then our walls uh, we're gonna make this with the we're gonna go with a napa napa pattern fine okay and we want a big door on this on this sucker so let's go with a wooden double door double door on this side right there i think we're going to put one more double door on this side no you know what i'm going to do it on this side I don't know does two doors seem weird i think it does seem weird unless i did on this side i wouldn't see it was bad on this side i think i can always add a door later let's we'll see what this update's about um man we could still get another person you know might as well i guess might as well what you got uh Leafy? Leafy Grail, another soldier. Well, I'll tell you, we are gonna need more soldiers. Who did I have that was like a soldier that didn't really need to be? Well, I think it I think in the long run I'm gonna end up with two footmen or two knights and two archers anyways. So that's fine. We'll have to get another uh <clears throat> another sword made. Wooden practice sword. Let's make one more of those so we can get that guy set up to be our new soldier. Right, let's finish playing out, uh, planning out this building here. We got our one door there. I don't know. I feel like I definitely want a second door on this thing. Maybe just a single door. Ah, screw it. Double door right there. And then let's do some windows. So let's do some small windows. Can't see the wall, so I can't put up higher. There we go. Do two small windows there. Do a couple diamond windows. Let's do, let's do a wide one there. Do a diamond the diamond there <clears throat> and let's see what else do we want so we want let me go this and this a wide it's not gonna fit right let's do a small there okay and on this side oh, darn it I was trying to build a house here hold on a second Okay, that one's up a bit, so we'll go right here. This is probably window obsessed, but that's okay. And you no, know just let's do another one right there in the middle. Okay, what am I? What am I hearing? Who's attacking? Oh, it's those wolves! This wolf pack moved in. Okay, is that who's attacking? Yeah. Okay. It's just it looks like it's just the one that seems to be attacking at the moment. I should have taken care of those guys earlier. That's my mistake. Oh, two of them's coming in. At least two. Guys, get over there. Stat. Oh no. Nah. See, just a two so far. Oh, we get some pelts out of this at least.
Get him! Yeah! I like pelts. And eventually turn those into uh, some leathers. I need to get um, I need to get a weaver and a tanner going on soon here too. You know, you guys. I want you guys to go take care of this that other part of this pack here. Because uh, these guys are just going to be a pain in my butt. All right, what do you got, merchant? Can get cloth, clothing or cloth. Still going to pass on that stuff. Uh, the worker outfits would be nice. Maybe I'll pick one up. I'm gonna grab one worker upgraded worker outfit. That means anybody doing like basic stuff will uh, get some bonuses if they're not assigned to a regular job. Get them! Get them! An enemy? I know it's an enemy because I sent them after him. Reckon you? Might as well get some experience, right? Kill him, kill him. Alright, she's taking taking a bit of a beating, but I, she's pretty tough. She's a tough one. Alright, well we got our fourth house there. Um, we still gotta finish planning out our cook's house here, but uh, unfortunately I'm out of time in this episode. Uh, so we'll get that finished up in the next episode. As always, thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.